What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're here to talk about Sean Weatherspoon and his latest ASICS collaboration, which if you guys didn't know, we already did the early in hand review, which we compared the exact ASICS model along with the Nike 97 ones that he did release about two years ago, which was an amazing time. We cut the W for retail at sneakers and stuff. One of the only main W's I ever got from SNS in store raffle as well was shook, was shocked. And uh, somehow we ended up getting the W and we ended up getting three, three days later, we got sick as hell from it because we went out there during the dead of winter. Uh, very, very cool. Great times though when he did release them. He did a great event in New York City. Unfortunately, there's no great in-store events like I'm assuming he was going to do because of the also mighty coronavirus. Uh, so we do have is just a basically an all on release and now actually some retailers are finally starting to announce how they'll be releasing this shoe. Now the main stock kicks, including Atmos, Sean Weatherspoon's very own round two store, which is coincidence that a resale store is getting our shoe for retail. Uh, and selling it for retail, but you know, I love that thing. I think a lot of people are hitting on it for that. Like they, they did with a Nike collab. Be like, yo, you're backdooring yourself pairs, which was uh, not true. They're definitely not backdooring yourself pairs straight from the Nike headquarters. Uh, then you also had Atmos, as I said, Ubique and Round 2 once again. Uh, those three stores that already released their pairs, uh, they already did announce winners. Uh, now we're going to go into the more of the smaller retailers, and the retailers have a little bit of a smaller stock. Uh, there's a lot more of them out there releasing this week. So we're going into the raffles, how to cop guide, resale predictions, and is it a great investment at the moment, which we'll dive into right about now. So we're going to pop up on the green screen and get right into it. And as you can see, we see the beautifully dreaded sold out sign on Round 2 Store's website. Uh, now, as I said, they did already drop on the 7th of August, which was last Friday at 4 p.m. Uh, Eastern Time, 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And unfortunately, we did, clearly did not take no W. If we did, I'd be a lot more excited about it. Uh, but we did actually get all the t-shirts. We got all, we got the black, well, we didn't get all of them. We got the black, no, we got the white colorway. We got the tie-dye in the blue. We got the tie-dye yellow and the tie-dye purple. Each t-shirt was retailing. Oh, if we click on it, you guys will see. Each retail, each shirt did retail for 65 US dollars. And the t-shirts are more limited than the shoes. But more people, of course, are going crazier over the shoes than the shirts. A uh, tote bag I heard was also very, very limited. And if you didn't know, Atmos was also first come, first serve last week. Um, and at the moment, last week, it was only we only saw three retailers come out, and we only knew of confirmed wise publicly that three retailers were going to be doing this, and that was round two, Atmos, and Ubik once again. I know a few kids from the group at Time Boy TV Plus group that I own and run did take a few W's already. Uh, other than that, though, our best chances are spread amongst other retailers in the US and in the EU. By the way, I know Asia already did see the release once again in Japan from Atmos, I want to say about a month or two ago. Uh, this is a listing right here for round two. I mean, you can try to keep running restocks like I've been trying, uh, but most likely not happening. They did restock some after canceled bot orders, uh, but nothing else really happened. They did change, however, their website listing, the actual listing URL for the shoes. But once again, I don't expect anything too crazy to happen. But once again, it wouldn't hurt to keep an eye out, keep notifications on it for the specific website or keep your bot running if you have it on the release date of the 13th in august now the tote bag once again was pretty limited in store wise at atmos atmos did have first come first serve on apparel and the uh, shoes were actually uh, raffled off via the online and in-store pickup Sh shirts though if you don't what you're going to do with them if you're looking to sell them i would definitely recommend going ebay route they're not on stockings and last time i checked and we really really wouldn't recommend selling them on stockings that way i think this shoe this shirt will do great locally uh sean this one once again caused mayhem with this nick release and adidas and Ed asics are coming out and i expect him to do the same with these asics unfortunately though i just feel like a lot of people aren't into them of course as they are as nike air maxes for example uh, personally myself they have a lot of uh, a lot of sentimental value to me because i used to rock them heavy back in the day uh as you can see here's at most post they had the bags in hand shirts everything like that shirts once again you big this was a release info they did a release on the 7th as i said in dc only in washington dc uh now one eu retail that is supposedly closed they saying that they're closed on their website but you can still enter them is naked and the way naked does run the raffles if you didn't know is you sign up for the raffles put your country code email address phone number and they end up emailing you a link uh the day before like a few hours before the actual release which is 3 a.m eastern us time uh they say it's a first come first serve like you win the raffle link and then you have to use that link that they send you and it's first come first serve. whoever gets it in cart first ends up actually being able to check out uh pretty much impossible to get manually just an fyi uh then we go to laced which is laced.au which is an australian based website uh they do have the raffle already up and loaded you guys can see right here pretty much every retailer does have the same images up as well and i think it looks fire great images great great design by shoulders but as well as i said we had them in hand uh, 
love the fact that this part is LA. Uh, because it's like the sun break. I think this is supposed to be like the mornings of LA and this is the nighttime of Tokyo. So that's how he decided to do the separation in colors on this specific shoe. Of course, you got the iconic split tongue down the middle, nylon laces, and these ASICs logos are actually removable. Uh, so you could put like different colors. As you can see right here, they have yellow and salmon. I know they also have black, green, and blue from what I can recall from our specific review. But once again, if you want to know more in depth, it's right up there in the, uh, it'll be linked in the description below. Right here, you guys can see here's LA and then here's Tokyo. That's what's actually embroidered in quality is on point i'm telling you if you're debating on keeping these for the personal i 100 think you should if you know you can rock a6 you know you can rock them the right way absolutely 100 keep them for the toe if you like of course if money is not an issue for you uh because i think they're very very comfortable they're a lot more comfortable than the nike 97 ones that once again did release a few years ago uh a few years ago probably just two two years ago it was not too long ago uh but definitely very comfortable and here you guys can see here's australia only if i'm not mistaken uh you can oh actually no they should have international shipping because it's not nike i keep on getting that mixed up once again nike can't ship internationally but for uh, other brands you should because it's only a nike rule and law uh here's concepts the raffle did actually close this morning at 11 30 a.m eastern it did close with uh well one of the reasons why i love concepts is because the fact that the way they do it i only won one time from there but you know one is better than none is they do a little trivia question the trivia question was actually pretty hard you had to do a lot more research into the whole entire asics collaboration with concepts however the answer ended up being harvard yard which the group did have we actually did have harvard at first and they ended up switching it to harvard yard uh so their raffles pretty much clipped so so far the only raffles you can enter that are open is naked uh laced au and we're gonna go on to uh, extra butter extra butter is another retailer that does have it open uh but you know they do have an instagram raffle which i have certainly never seen anyone win an instagram raffle from besides maybe private sneakers which is another retailer out of california and uh that's pretty much it honestly that's pretty much, i've never seen anyone win an extra butter raffle person that i do know uh that's not friends or family from the establishment but you know it is what it is uh i'd say go ahead try it it takes like two seconds of your time but will you win most likely not at the end of the day uh once again the same images feature on every single retailer's instagram page uh, next up, we do go on to another retailer. If it'll load up with me, it is Crucia. Oh, Crucia, Crusoe and Sons. I think that's right, Crusoe and Sons. Here, you guys can see the removable swooshes. Uh, another Instagram raffle, basically identical to Extra Butter. If it's, I think it's exactly Extra Butter. Yeah, literally exactly the same rules and ends at 6 p.m. Eastern on August 13th. Today is August 11th, so you guys have about two days to enter from this video of being posted. Uh, once again, retail is 170 US dollars. We're going into resale predictions and is it worth the investment in a bit? Um, another retail that we do have is Sneaker Politics, which is ASICs and Atmos. Sean, this means you guys can see here. Uh, advertisement, enter the draw. Let's see if this is limited to only in store. Uh, we are gonna have to blur that out for a bit. Oh, uh, captcha. All right, we'll enter this captcha. Let's see what it says. It might be only uh, in store at select retailers. Oh, no, it's online as well. So, anyone in the United States of America, if I'm not mistaken, even internationally, can enter this. Uh, we'll blow that out. And as you guys can see, it's oh, that picture is fire. It has, as you can see, red, salmon, green, blue, yellow, and black uh, A6 logos that you can switch out. So, it does have an online raffle. So, you guys can go ahead and enter on Sneaker Politics. Uh, by the way, there will be a link in the description below to Soul Retriever. They'll have all the raffles up combined into one organized section. Uh, so, it'll be a little bit easier to read over there. Now, Shop Mice Kicks is another retailer carrying this one. Uh, they'll have their own uh, raffles right here if you're in any of these areas, San Francisco, LA, and Austin, Texas. And Bodega's open for international as well. I did just enter this today. Uh, now, resale-wise, let's go ahead and load up the also mighty stock market of things, as they'd like to call it. Now, I personally know a few people who did buy these right when the Japan did uh, Japan released uh, because they thought it was going to be better investments because rumor was rumor was that they weren't supposed to release uh, that it was only going to be Japan exclusive for the time being because Atmos was under fire for a lot of bad uh, bad management skills at their Harlem location but looks like they did figure that out somewhat now prices have dropped actually pretty pretty rapidly uh, as more people are getting their W's and more people are getting their online orders in uh, specifically I think Ubique did have uh, shipping they're actually shipping them they said they were going to do in-store pickup but it looks like they're just shipping them prices are around $500 in almost every single size and do I think they're the worth the investment absolutely I do think this is a shoe worth the investment but I would not buy anytime soon 
I would wait till online orders come in. I would wait the 13th is when the official release date comes in. I don't see people getting online orders in till maybe the 20th of August. And around that time period, I'd say that's definitely the best time to go ahead and try to buy up as many pairs as possible uh, because that's when I see prices going up and recovering to a pretty, pretty steady point. Uh, now, how far do I see them going? I see them probably going down to around 450, 400 US dollars just because this isn't Nike. This is ASICs once again. And in this time period in 2020, ASICs is not that big. Uh, it's all about Nike right now. Nike SB, Nike Dunks, Nike Air Max, Nike Air Force, all Nike and Retros. Uh, so that's why I don't see the hype being here too much, but gradually over time as they get more and more rare, even after a lot of people do get L's, because this is Sean Wetherspoon. The people, reason why people want to shoot is because of Sean, and when he's don't Nike, he's kind of graduating that hype from Nike to Asics, and just like I see the Adidas being hyped at the end of the day. So I see prices going down to like 400. I can see Max going down like 600, 650 US dollars, uh, but it's probably not the absolute best investment to make this week. Uh, but still you could I'll see I, I could definitely see making some profits at the end of the day But that's about it for me. Thank you all so much, Ma, for, so much for watching. That's basically your main retailers carrying the shoe uh, And if you're gonna buy a pair I'd definitely say sell right away if you catch a W or if you end up getting a W and you're debating it I would say hold for the long 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 term But once again, we saw Nike shoot up in value over time but that was once again Nike not a6 So that's why I see the big differential big, but thank you guys so much for watching catch you guys in the next one Peace